Hey, what's up guys? My name is Slappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna show you the best optimization that you need to do in the new Fortnite Season 4 Chapter 4. So actually, the optimization that we're gonna do is real simple, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we need to use the Epic Game Launcher. Currently, the Fortnite servers are offline, but these actually don't matter because we're not gonna change Fortnite or we're not gonna touch Fortnite to do this optimization. The first thing that we're gonna do is go to library. After that, you need to find the Fortnite game, click on the three little dots, click on manage, and as you can see here, what you need to do is verify the files but do uh, you recently update fortnite you don't need to worry about this so we're not gonna verify but we're gonna open the install location so open this folder and we're gonna go directly to the fortnite folder go to fortnite games which is this first folder go to the first folder which is this one then win64 now over here you need to scroll all the way down until you find this specific fortnite please make sure to select this one it usually has more size than others and what you're gonna do is click right and click on the properties click on compatibility activate these two options which is disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator if we, we check this option we're gonna give fortnite administrator permissions so this permission will give access to fortnite to use more the performance of our pcs so please select this option then click on change high dpi settings and active this option and also this option click on ok click on apply and probably you need to accept some extra permissions so click on yes and click on ok close this folder and what you're gonna do now is click on your profile go to the settings scroll all the way down find on the manage games fortnite and active the additional command line argument if you don't active you're not gonna find this box and what you're gonna do is put the next command that you will have on the description of this video which is slash lamb slash no splash slash not streaming slash use all available cores according to the epic games use these commands will give you less input delay better connection better fps and also will focus all the performance of your pc or of your cpu to run fortnite more fluently okay so we finished with the epic game optimization we can close the epic game and what we're gonna do now is try to check if you are using high performance of your gpu in fortnite how you can do that just go to the settings of your windows after that you need to go to gaming go to game mode active the game mode and go to graphic settings which is this option over here after that as you can see i'm currently using my fortnite with high performance using my gpu's rtx 2070 probably your gpu will be different but you must select the high performance and click on save so if you don't have this or you don't have the game i'm gonna show you how you can add this i'm gonna remove both games that i'm currently having so we're gonna find fortnite first so click on browse probably your fortnite will be on program files or program files x86 in the epic game folder i have the epic game folder in another disk so you should find your epic game folder then go to fortnite fortnite game naris win64 and you need to add the game that we add some extra permissions remember that we did some settings in the fortnite icon so we need to add that specific one so click on add click on options and click on high performance click on save and that's it so we're gonna close this out and now i'm gonna recommend to download the pack that we're gonna use on this video because here I add the Fortnite priority, which is actually really insane. The commands that you need to use, so you don't need to copy from the description, and also some others that will help you if you want to improve your FPS and also do a couple tweaks that will help you out. But if you don't want, it's okay. With the settings that I show you, it's actually really good. But if you want to keep optimizing, you can download the pack that you will have in the description. Before we go ahead and use the pack, I recommend you guys to do a restore point. It's actually really simple if you want to recover all the settings that we are about the change so go to the search bar type restore point as you can see here we're gonna open the create a restore point option and as you can see here we're gonna have the system properties what you need to do is only click on create here we need to name a restore point we're gonna call it optimization and we're gonna click on create we just need to wait until the system protection create this restore point and as you can see here once it finished we're just gonna click on close and that's it we can move on to the pack but if you for some reason want to restore i'm gonna show you real quick how you can restore everything back to the normal click on system System restore as you can see here we're gonna have this optimization rest point that we choose create we you need to click on next and click on finish i'm not gonna do it because i'm gonna continue with the process but i recommend you to do the rest of point just in case all right so after that what we're gonna do is the next go to any folder that you have go to this pc probably you're gonna have the local disk c and d click on the c click on properties and you need to click on disk 
clean up so probably you're not gonna have none of this probably you're gonna have more if you don't usually clean your pc probably you're gonna have even more than me as you can see currently i don't usually like clean my pc and i have around 33 gigabytes that are affecting me with the performance of my pc so as you can see this is the current hyperspace that i have but we can clean even more if we click on clean up system file click on this option we have to wait a couple time because it will find the system files that we need to delete and as you can see here we're gonna have some other files that we need to select in order to reduce even more our hard drive space so as you can see here i just gonna activate all of them and i'm gonna click on ok and now we need to wait until the disk cleanup finish with the cleaning of our driver and now we need to wait until the disk cleanup finish the process so we can have more space and more performance of our pc okay so we finished with the disk cleanup we're gonna close this out and we're gonna open the folder so this is up to you if you want to do it if you don't want to risk with the registry tweaks and the fps command you can use the last three folder my opinion the gpu priority is really insane if you don't have a really good pc so if you want to use the Fortnite priority which is the folder number five you can choose click on high priority and if you like choose leave it like that but remember that if you multitask while you're playing Fortnite, like streaming or do some google stuff the performance of the stream or the google tabs or everything will be decreased because Fortnite will have more priority but this will impact your Fortnite with more fps so please if you want to use it choose double tap on it in my case i'm gonna use it so i'm gonna click on yes and okay if you don't like this high priority and you want to turn back to the normal you can use the normal priority just double click on it and you're gonna do the same as the high priority just gonna click on okay and okay and that's it we're gonna move on to the full folder remember these are the comments that you need to add if you don't remember this just need to go to the epic and launcher go to your profile settings scroll down find the manage game open fortnite and here you need to paste the comments that you have on the notepad for the third folder this is an app probably you know about power control it actually help you if you want to unlock your course that remember that we help you with the epic launcher so please install power control because it actually will help you you're gonna do a simple installation like usual and here as you can see you're gonna have the power control i recommend you to leave it like that if you want to have the best performance but if you want to increase even more update the app which is only click on this option it will automatically update to the most recent one and here as you can see it's even more easy than you think what you're gonna do is only click here active the business highest performance and make sure to be on performance p course active this out one more time and after you make active you need to apply once you apply you can click on ok because this will go directly to the background apps and you don't need to worry because it will boost your fps a lot so well we have the registry tweaks probably you know about the registry you can active all of them if you want to improve even more your fps but if you don't don't worry you don't need to do it and for the boost commands this is actually real simple this will only increase your fps delete some temporary files deactivate some programs that you didn't know that you have on your pc but if you don't want to use it this is up to you these two first folders are optional if you don't want totally okay so guys that's pretty much everything we're gonna do in this video hopefully this helped remember this is an optimization this will boost your fps a little bit but this will not like make a huge difference in your fps but if you want to try this out remember choose go to the link on the description don't add the files and follow the step of this video if you want to increase your fps a lot thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed the new season don't forget to use go slappy and i see you soon bye bye